In this video, we're going to talk about the surface area and polar coordinates. So, uh, so, so far, for a small change in the angle, for a small change in the angle, so, so this is our small change, this is a small change in our angle. For a small change in the angle, we now have the ability to work out the arc length. We now have the ability to work out this arc length. So if you want to know the surface area being revolved 360 along the polar axis, you would need to multiply it with you would need to multiply it with the uh, the circumference of uh, of this circle here. Okay, so so remember the surface area is really you working out the arc length, and then you've got to revolve it 360 um, along the. Well, you need to multiply it with with the circumference of uh, of this circle. So here you've got to multiply with, with 2 pi r. You've got to multiply with 2 pi r. You've got to multiply with 2 pi r. You've got to uh, once you've got your arc length, you've got to uh, re multiply with the circumference of this circle. So for this, for this arc length, you would need to multiply with the circumference of this circle here. So let's start again. Um, uh, if you want to work out the surface area for a small change, for a small change in the angle, so for a small change in the angle, we now have the ability to work out the arc length. We now have the ability to work out this length. Once you've got this length, you will need to multiply it with, uh, with the circumference of this circle. So the circumference of this circle would be 2 pi and then times this thing here, this height here. Let's call it h. 2 pi. So this 2 pi h is really the circumference of this, of this circle here. So re remember in polar coordinates, we always get given uh, the length here. We always get given the angle here. So if you want to know this height, if you want to know this height here, if you want to know this height here, it will be r sine theta. So, so, so we can put. So this height here is really r sine theta. So we can put this into here. So if if you want to work out the surface area, you you work out your small r length. You work out your small r length, and then you will need to multiply it with two pi, and then this height here. That will then give you your your. And, and then sum up everything, and then that would then give you your surface area. So let's start again. For a small change in the angle, so for a small change in the angle, we now have the ability to work out the arc length. We now have the ability to work out this arc length. Once we've got this arc length, we, we will need to multiply it with the circumference of this circle, which will be 2 pi, and then uh, the height, this height here, is, um, is r sine theta. And then, uh, but basically, we, we would need to put this into here and then sum up everything. So, the arc length is, hang on, let's start again. The arc length is given by, by this. So, the arc length is given by this. But then, uh, but then, once, once we've got our arc length, we would need to times it with the circumference of the circle, 2 pi h here. So, this 2 pi here is this 2 pi here. And this h, the height, is given by by this thing here, and then you, we will need to sum up everything, so that will then give us our surface area. So, so if you look at this, this is a constant. We can take it out here. So the surface area is given by 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 this constant multiplying with you summing up everything. So really, when when, when you look at this here, you um you 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 you, you obtain your your arc length, and then you you uh, you multiply with the circumference of the circle. And then you obtain your arc length again, multiply with the circumference of the circle. You obtain your arc length, multiply with the circumference of the circle, and then sum up everything. So, and then sum up everything. And then, and then, and then sum up everything. That's really you summing up everything here. Okay, well, I hope you can follow that. So the surface area is given by this thing here. If you revolve it 360 along the, along the x-axis, along the x-axis, but if you want to revolve it 360 along the uh, along the y-axis along here, you would need to do this uh, for for a small change in the angle. So for a small change in the angle, you have the ability to work out the uh, the arc length. You have the ability to work out this arc length. But once you've got the arc length, you would need to multiply it with the circumference of this circle, where where the radius of this circle is where the radius of this circle is r cos theta instead of sine. Uh, sine, remember, in polar coordinates, 
r sine theta will give you this height but because we were revolving along the y-axis we would need to know this length here well this length here is r cos theta well same argument the arc the surface area is given by by uh, by 2 pi r 2 pi this thing and then you times your your arc length which is this bit here uh, so but, but then this this thing here will be um, r cos theta and then this is a constant take it out so revolving it along the uh, along along the x axis the, the surface area would be given by given by this thing here bear in mind it's cos theta but if you revolve it along the uh, along the uh, along the along the polar axis the surface area will be given by sine theta so down here it's cos theta okay so all right, I hope you can follow that.